Welcome to Hit The Zone. I'm here with Matt from Red Zone X. And this is a medicine ball. It is. 20 pounds. So Matt, what can people do with a medicine ball? So there's a ton of stuff that you can do with a medicine ball, uh, especially with like a dumbbell variation. Medicine balls can take its place. Uh, today we're gonna do four moves, and it's gonna be like a full body workout. Okay, what's the first one? Well, the first one is gonna be, ball starts on the ground. Okay, so it's gonna be a medicine ball clean. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna squat down, we're gonna clean that ball up to pick it up into your squat, stand up to this top position, and then you're just gonna drop the ball on the ground. Oh. So, keep that ball nice and close to the feet, Jen. Yeah, good. So what I wanna do, so we're gonna speed this move up a tiny bit, so when you're doing this move, because we're using our lower body, you should be able to use a little bit heavier of a medicine ball. Okay. That's why we have a 20 pound ball, as opposed to like a 10 or a 15, because it is a leg move. So when you're down at the bottom, I want chest, squat. yeah, squat, chest looking forward, then you're gonna pull right up and down to your squat in one movement, oh. then up to the top, right? Okay. So we're just gonna tweak it just a tiny bit. So down, good, to the top. So when she's working, she's gonna be using her lower body, but then as she pulls that ball off the floor, here, she's gonna be using a little bit of her back as well. So move number two, we're gonna use the medicine ball slam, okay, for the next one. It's gonna be a faster move, and it's also gonna be a little bit more explosive than your medicine ball clean. So you should know okay. this one. I do know this one. Good. <laughs> so the biggest thing with this is as she picks it up off the ground, her butt's nice and low, chest is up tall. Now you can bring it up. Slam down between the legs, butt comes down on the pickup. Perfect. So straight up, straight down. So she's using a ton of power to slam that ball straight now, down. something that you wouldn't realize is that this gets your heart rate up really yeah. quick. So the reason it's number two is because we would have warmed that body up with the clean and press there, and then we're into the slam. Good, Jen. The next move we're gonna use, number three, is gonna be a reverse lunge with that med ball. So you're just gonna bring it up to the chest. So you're gonna step back, the knee's gonna come down to touch the floor. Oh, it has to touch the floor? <clears throat> it has to touch the floor, then you're gonna step back to center, and then she's gonna alternate every rep. Good, so the biggest thing here is her knee is not coming forward over the toe. It's staying back behind. Good, Jen. Okay, Matt, our last move is a push-up on the medicine ball? Yeah, it's gonna be an alternating push-up off the medicine ball. Which so, obviously makes it harder. Yeah, just because now that one hand is up higher, so it's gonna recruit a little bit more chest and shoulders. Okay, so push-up position. Yeah, so on the ground. So I'm gonna get one hand on the ball. Okay, so now she's gonna go down and turn push-up. Good, all the way to the top. Now just roll that ball over to the other hand, Jen and it's gonna give me another push up all the way down, good. So how back. many of these do you have to do? Well, in this circuit, you're gonna be doing, you know, 12 to 15 reps, but if it's the first time doing these, you might be using a little less, about eight to 10. So what if someone can't do a full push up? What do they do? So this is gonna be actually tougher than a normal push up, just cause that hand's a little bit staggered, right? So go ahead and take a little rest, go down on those knees for me. So we'll do a modified push up. Okay. So knees together, okay, she's gonna go down to that push up with the hand on the ball, all the way up. When she's doing that, her back is gonna remain flat. Did my back remain flat? It did, yes, you're good. So all the way down, all the way up, and then roll that ball over. So it's important that when she's doing these push-ups, she's trying to get as much range of motion as she can. Good, Jen. Breathe in at the top. Good. Tired yet? Good. Okay, Matt, we just did four moves with the medicine ball. What, let's remind everyone what they were. <laughs> you can't even remember. <laughs> no, so they the, were hard. the first move was a medicine ball clean, right? Move number two was the medicine ball slam. Move three was the alternating reverse lunge. And then number four was the alternating push up off the ball. Right. Now people should be doing these all together. What should they, how's the, how's the, if you're doing it for the first time, I want like a 30 to 60 second rest in between. You go medicine ball clean, rest 30 to 60 seconds before you move to the medicine ball slam. As you get more efficient at them, then you can shorten up that rest, so you can try to go through the whole circuit with no rest in between each move, if you like. Okay, and we used a 20 pound medicine ball, but they come as low as 10, 15. Yeah, 10, up. 15, 20 are the most common, and then you know they can go up to almost 100 pounds. Okay, thanks Matt. No problem. So everyone, if you'd like to see this again, you can check it out on our YouTube site, and uh, we'll be back with more Hit The Zone.